So one of the first new features that you notice straight away in R19 is the fact that half of the text and some of the icons are now yellow. This is a new feature in R19 uh, called Feature Highlight. So what this does is it lets you know instantly that there are new things in this version for you to look at. So anything that highlights ProRender or stuff that lets you know that there are other settings or new features within that menu system. Okay, it's a really cool little feature that lets you get stuck into the new stuff straight away. And it's all completely configurable here under the preferences. So we've got this highlight features part here under the preferences of Cinema 4D, and it lets you know that we are in R19 feature mode. Okay, so you can change that to R18 feature mode so that it lets you know what new features were available in R18, or you can turn it off completely. Okay, it's got this fading option here, which allows you so that after a few times that if you've gone to several menus, okay, it will eventually fade. Okay, this is a really sort of useful thing. If I just go to say like this window and material manager and material manager, you can see that it's already gone a slightly different color of yellow. Okay, and if I just um, keep clicking that, it will eventually disappear. Okay, so that now assumes that I am aware of that change enough that I no longer need to be told that it's highlighted. If I wish to reset those highlights, then in my preferences here, I can reset them with the reset highlights button. And that just simply pings everything back to my um, original state that it was in when I loaded Cinema 4D R19 for the first time. Okay, it's a really great little feature that lets you know exactly what's new in these latest versions. And if you find that that gets on your nerves, then just simply turn it off, okay, using R19's preferences there. I hope that was useful for you, and I will catch you in the next feature update.